अंदर भेज देना very good it's uh, capability is not existing with many countries i think hardly 3 4 people have that ability and india is joining that club with this knowledge we can make the complete 360 degree award uh, which uh, they will be this is basically 240 degree is not three all circular so there are blind spots the plane has to be reoriented to get all the coverage Yes, but uh, with avax we can get all 360 degree with this experience knowledge we can build down thank you very much so is there anything that you want to add to your okay, okay. no getting this uh, technology develop indigenously then uh, uh, big uh, jump over the in technology form everything develop indigenously a lot of prob- hiccups problem we have overcome those problem so i feel that uh, in next 5 5 6 years we will build our own uh, and we can export also so what is the first thing sir Please, under the honorable RM's support, we could make this effort. It's not only us; it's a both Air Force as well as the DRDO combinedly did this. This has taken quite some time. Good amount of input has come from Air Force. It's a uh, it's a, it's a joint effort. It's not an individual effort, but it has taken quite some time. It has taken the country to the fourth place in the world, and I'm sure in the days to come, we will succeed much more. Thank you, uh, Dr. Krishna. As uh, RM honorable RM was just now telling. that we are going for a bigger aircraft with a longer endurance as well as and 360 higher higher coverage in terms of range as well as in terms of angular 360 degrees coverage with a 400 kilometers of range director of uh, this uh, avex uh, please uh, give us some insight on this particular aircraft which is been a wonder for india because it's totally indigenous has been said and rm was very praised worthy about it basically as you are seeing that is a major radar sensor what you are seeing on the top that has been indigenously developed within caps and uh, we as a nodal agency have interacted with the aircraft manufacturers with the severe deadlines where we had the counter endings for producing this so first time drdo has accepted that and we have done that in time that what is this black color that is a satcom radar that is uh, we use for beyond the line of sight communication and what is the purpose of that black that is basically that's the primary radar that is helped in detection of the targets Okay, and we see some sensors right at the being the some pro- projection. Yes, we have we have many. Uh, it's a system of systems. It has electronic and uh, communication countermeasure systems, which has been mounted on various aspects of the aircraft. We also have a self projection suite that is also part of the system. And what are these sensors? Little sensors right under the wing. That is what it is. Electronic and communication. Uh, 
Okay, and what else is there in the aircraft? Which the basically, the aircraft, uh, you see, it is a highly software intensive system. All the system of system has to work in tandem, and that is what uh, we have done. And the total software has been developed indigenously in CAPS, which helps in identification, classification, and carrying out the battle management functions. Uh, just uh, in simple words, uh, can you please explain what does it mean for the common viewer when we go in the battlefield? Does it give the it can, whole network? It can centric? help. Yeah, it is. It's a part of the network centric operations, and it can also guide our interceptors to the target and get it back on guidance by recovery. How many enemy aircrafts or targets it can... Uh... I can't tell you the numbers, but we have. Right.